Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is gonna be about the stationary heater from this Mercedes S-Class. So we're gonna see how to remove the auxiliary water pump and the dual valve. We're gonna see how it works. We're gonna do a couple of bidirectional tests. So I connected this can tool to the OBD2 port. Let's turn the key in the second position. For the first code, in order to look for that can communication problem, I will need the oscilloscope. And for this second one, we're gonna see what's wrong with this stationary heater and heater booster control module. It says that the blower is off, but it's not off. And it still says that the blower is off. All right, so the AC control unit is on. And if I press on this flame button, which is for the heater booster, nothing happens. So actually, before I started recording this, this button was working, now it's not working anymore. So here on the live data, we can see if this switch works. And you can see it's operated. So right now, this green light should turn on, and it does. We've got as well an orange light. Okay, so before I clean these codes, let's take a screenshot. Now I can clear the codes and let's see. Let's turn the ignition off. Okay, 10 seconds has passed. Let's read the codes again. Okay, the only code that came back is that CAN communication. And down here we've got the auxiliary water pump and the dual valve heater unit. Looks like there is some other pump somewhere else. I can hear some other pump somewhere else. Okay, so it looks like the dual valve unit is getting power. However, the pump is not getting power. So we have dual valve because there are two heater cores. Each valve is gonna warm up the coolant for one heater core. And that's why we've got here four pipes. So I've got here the right front wheel removed. And here we can find the Webasto heater. And here we've got another auxiliary water pump. So it looks like this unit is getting gasoline through this line here. And then we've got a couple of coolant hoses which delivers the coolant, the hot coolant, into the heater course. Now let's press again the button inside the cabin and see if this system works. Okay, so this is basically the pump. Once the coolant is getting warmed up by this Webasto, this auxiliary water pump is gonna deliver that coolant further into the heater core. To be honest, I had no idea this car has a gasoline Webasto heater. In my situation, only the second auxiliary water pump works. So I decided to just remove the unit because it's also very heavy. Now let's test this pump. I've got here a 12 volt supply. And let's see, this pump should work now. As you can see, there is no response. I've got 12 volts on these lines. So it looks like I'm gonna need a new unit or I'm just gonna install it back. I will see later what I'm gonna do with this car. Now, let's say, for example, you suspect that the coolant doesn't reach the heater core and you don't get any heat inside the cabin. You can open these dual valves. You just have three screws here, take out these covers and you're gonna find some plungers in there, which are very tiny and they allow the coolant to pass by just by a little bit, like less than one millimeter. So inspect that and see if it's clogged up, because if it does, then you will not get the coolant inside the heater core. Therefore, no heat inside the cabin. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned. Take care and I will see you in the next video.